Hello guys, this is Avcore again, back with some more Final Fantasy Ever Crisis content, and let's talk about this banner, and why I don't like it, and I'm going to skip all three banners. So, this is Sephiroth's banner, we knew it was coming out, we knew it was going to be Kuja, but the question is why? Why do they do this to us? Because I'm really upset. First, let's talk about the costume. The costume is really good. I think this costume is literally going to sell because of the aesthetics. It looks really good. It shows you that like the devs do know how to do costume design. It's amazing what they did with this. This is pretty good. This is really good, actually. It just, it just fits them. It really does. This is an awesome costume. And I think people will spend money just for that. But let's go into the mechanics of the costume and weapon and why I don't like it. So first, let's talk about the costume. The costume itself, to me, is actually something that you would like to have for Sephiroth. First of all, you're getting boost HP, a critical stat, as we get into the more difficult content that seems to be cropping up out of nowhere. The content... I. We'll talk about the content in another video. It's getting really stupid. So HP on anything in your attire is really good. Boost magic ability potency is really good for Sephiroth as well. This is the complete package. So this is not the problem. That is not the problem. The costume is not the problem. The, the weapon is the problem. It really is the problem. So this is Flare Star. It's kind of like a variation of the skill that Kuja uses. If you ever played the game, Kuja has a skill, AOE skill, that's something like this. So I guess they were like pulling from that, but uh, let's go into it anyway. So, excuse me. It does 340% magic, non-elemental damage, all enemies. With a crit rate of 10%. I think they want this for the boss because there's more than one. But in a practical sense. AOE is for lower attack units. Like Barret. Or. Who else uses AOE? Like Aerith. But for Sephiroth, he's a single target DPS unit. You want single target attacks on this guy. Even as a secondary offhand weapon, I still don't like it. But let's get into it more. So, also, magic attack is decreased. Mid potency, which is really good. Range all enemies. Extension, 6 seconds. Max potency is mid. When range self is HP 50% or more, physical attacks is decreased. Potency mid. Range all enemies. Duration 20 seconds, mid, mid. So, basically this AOE attack does magic attack and physical attack down if his HP is above 50%, which is really good. This is actually the best part of it. So, let's increase it. And we actually see that there's magic attack, 24 points, and boost ability, potency, 6 points. And this is where the problems come in. So... Let's take a look at Cloud's weapon real quick, and we'll show you the big problem with this weapon. So let's go over to Cloud's weapon, and we'll show you the big problem with it. Okay, Zion Sword. Boost physical attack, boost physical ability potency. Zion. Costume. Boost HP, boost physical ability potency. Let's go back. So, boost magic ability potency. Now we get here, boost ability potency. That's trash. It should have been boost magic ability potency. So, with these costumes and weapon sets, I want you to understand that the goal of this, if you're willing to roll, if you're willing to spend resources on this banner, is to quantify 
your gains, right? So say for instance, if you spend money on the cloud banner, you get boost ability potency in the weapon and you get in the costume. So over time, that's gonna be effective. But boost ability potency doesn't stack with magic ability potency. And boost ability potency is the weaker of the three because in this game, in this meta, you actually want to skew your stats to either physical attack or magical attack. And that doesn't do that. So that's a big, big downer. So let's increase it. Let's get it to six stars. So you're doing 480% magic now elemental damage, which is really good. And your magic attack has increased mid to high. That's really good. It's really good. No, no complaints there. Even the stats on this weapon is really good. So 544 is not the best because there are weapons that except for our pass that hits the five what 74 574 so that's not good you're not worried about physical attack and the heal is mid but you're getting 550 540% magic non elemental damage magic attack is decreased potency mid to high that's really good the best part of this weapon is the potential at ov10 but i still i still don't think it justifies it but the devil advocate would say okay even if flare star does not do a lot of damage but it does guarantee you magic attack decrease and physical attack decrease which is nothing to sneeze at so there's potential in this weapon, but another argument is, do you have the resources in order to take it that far? Because once this banner is over, it's over. It won't be in the regular pool. So how long will you put resources into, ta into taking this weapon as far as it can go? I don't think you want to, unless you're a mega well, unless you got like 500 bucks to spend. I don't think it's worth it. At 500 bucks, I really don't think it's worth it. So when we look at support material, support material is really good because you're getting magic attack boost, magic attack boost, and you're getting siege boost. So overall, it's a solid weapon. It's the fact that it's limited that kills it. And the fact that you're getting boost ability potency, I wish the devs wouldn't have done that. If this was magic ability potency, that, that would have been better. I, I, I really, I'm really upset about that. Overall, the weapon is solid. It's just not as good as other weapons. And it's not as synergistic as other weapons. And that's my two cents. If you have another opinion in the comments, feel free to debate me. But honestly, this is a hard pass. But anyways, if you like my content, the like, share, subscribe button. I'll get back to you. Have a great day. Laters.